Okay, this is Tex again, and this is the fourth in a series, and probably the last for the time being, of training videos for Twitter Friend Adder. The previous video ended rather abruptly because I was running out of time, and I do post these to YouTube to host them there, and they have a tenant limit, so I had to get through it quickly. But what we're seeing now in the right-hand side over here is actually the results of that particular one, so if we make this bigger so you can actually see it. It's now going through, and you can see that it's going through for the list that I gave it to go through, which in this case I'm following another user's followers, and I'm adding them. And so you can see add it, add it, add it, add it, and you can see as it goes through what page it's on. I mean, all the information in the log is absolutely sweet, so you can see it. Also, you can see that it's running in the background, so it's down here and it's running. If I wanted to stop it, I could hit the little red arrow and it would stop, but I'm going to let it continue because that one needs to be working anyhow. And what we're going to see by doing this is that one of the huge advantages that that friend adder has over other products out there and that is I can go in here now and I can actually do a remove also now the purpose of the remove is again if you look at the concept behind building your Twitter user followers aggressively which obviously if you're using any kind of software to do that you're trying to be aggressive so what you want to be able to do is is that Twitter has, you know, the 2,000 cap initially, and then it kind of follows a rule of thumb that says that you can all, you can add to your following list 110% of who or how many people are following you. And I've posted on the forum a the logic that I use. I don't have it here, so I can't show it to you. But conceptually, what we're talking about is if I've got 10,000 followers. And I have, I want to do an unfollow so that okay, I'm, right now I'm currently following 10,500 people. But there's a number of those 10,500 people that I'm following that are not following me back. So I've got 10,000 followers. That means that if I take 110% of 10,000, I've got 11,100 11, people that I could be following or that I can follow in order to get that because it's 110% of my follower count. So if I've got you know, 10,000 now, I'd have 110% of that. Let's say that's 1,100, assuming my math is right. If it's not, who cares? <clears throat> then I can do my remove right now. Let's say that move takes me down to 9,000. Well, I could be at 11,000, basically. I'm at 9,000. That means I could follow 2,000 more people and be fairly safe. Now, when you get into these bigger numbers, sometimes you might want to do that in two separate follows, but that's conceptually what we want to do is get to our target number, which is 110% of our current follower list. Hopefully that wasn't totally confusing. And in the remove, you have the same functionality you have in the ad, and that is to say you can do it by individual account or you can do it for all accounts. Um, I typically do all of my removes at night, late at night, so that if somebody was actually looking at my profile, they don't see my user count of followings going down. So this is one time where I might actually do all accounts rotate from one to the next. Uh, I typically don't just because each account's on a different cycle, but I can see where I could do that if I wanted to. So in any case, let's say I want to go ahead and remove my followers from Golfing Nut. I'm going to give it three threads again. Again, that's totally up to you on how aggressive you want to be there. I have not currently run into any issues with that. Um, you can choose to remove a certain number of friends, or you can remove all friends that are not following you, which is what this says. Don't remove the friends who are following me. And I, I don't do that. If anyone's following me, then I want to continue to follow them back. I don't, you know, that's just good etiquette. So I'm going to go ahead and it doesn't matter to me how many people I'm following or who. So I'm going to follow anybody that's following back. I'm going to continue to follow, but that would allow you to get rid of those if you wanted to. There is a situation that might occur somewhere when you get close to the 2000 or when you're trying to grow really fast where you might break that, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, and then the again random, how long do you want it to take to do this? And in my case, I've been using 2 to 20 seconds, and that seems to work very well. I will tell you that the randomness of these different functions is a huge value. Uh, I don't ever use the proxy settings. I didn't even talk about them in the ad, but the proxy settings would be useful only if you had proxies. So uh, it, it's irrelevant if you do things the way we're talking about in these training videos anyhow. So I'm going to say I'm going to do one account, I'm going to give it these values, and then I'm going to tell it to go ahead and always leave this one checked, you didn't, in my opinion. Uh, there'd only be one rare instance where I would recommend otherwise, and it's just in the scope of this training video. So 
I'm going to do golfing nut, three threads, which just means it's going to run pretty fast. I'm going to remove all friends, not a set number, and I'm going to give it 2 to 20 seconds between. So I hit OK. And now, as you can see, it's added another line down here where it's looking at a totally different account, golfing nut. This one's actually working on Line Tool Man, and it's going to be removing people here. And you're going to see it's going to bounce back and forth up here between the two accounts as it goes forward. So it's doing exactly what I want it to do, and it's doing it on two totally different functions simultaneously. Very cool. So in any case, that's how you do your removes. It's very straightforward, very simple, and you need to understand the concept behind why you do it, but that's all there is to it. And with that, I'm going to finish my training, and I look to see all of you on Twitter and on the Lively Browser forum for FriendAdder. I uh, appreciate your time and attention, and have fun with FriendAdder.